Brush roll RPM time. Low speed. A well, little less than 2,500. Medium. A little less than 2,400. And here's high. And drops down to close to 2300. Well, if you notice, I haven't put one of my little reflective stickers on this power nozzle because here's the problem that I'm encountering. We have a defective unit. It's supposed to spin. I can actually feel the, the toothed belt in there. It is connected, but the motor is not spinning and the unit is fully seated. So it looks like we have a defective part. Now we have the Kaival V20 on the airflow and suction box. And in addition to that, we'll do particle emissions testing. So. I have all my battery powered stick vacs that I currently have in the lab surrounding it. I have a Musu, a Dream Tech, and also a Dyson DC35. Now what you should know is the two machines on the outside here only have a high and low speed. The two machines on the inside have low, medium, and high speed power. So I wonder how closely this V20 will compare to the T10. Oh, and by the way, because there's an internal filter up there that creates a seal, I'm going to only be able to do uh, all the tests with the brush roll spinning and all the filters in. When the V20 starts out, it always starts out on its default medium power, so I have to adjust it. Okay, that's low, low power, that's about 22 rounded. All right, on its default medium power, we're about 31 CFM. And it's high power rounded, I'll call it at 36. Okay, that's on low. That's medium. And that's high. Small nozzle time. Right on low speed, will it hit 21? Uh, about 20.4. Okay. Here's medium, and about 28.4 rounded. High, we're doing about 
32, well, 33. Peak to 33, 34. Still going. All right, going to be 35. Rounded anyway. Okay, I'll call it at 34.8 CFM. All right, will it hold on low? Oh, not quite. Okay, so I'm going to have to hold that. All right, that is low. Here is medium. It should should hold on medium. Okay, there's medium. And there's high. Maximum suction test right from the motor unit. How well does this V20 filter? So that's the setup. And if you remember, the V20 literally has a little white foam filter for the exhaust. I'm going to run it in its default mode only, which is medium. Hey, that's not bad. That's better than my default air quality. Okay, this is doing a great job, all things considered, and I would rate this machine for the exhaust emissions to be around the H10 level. We got a lot of numbers to go over.